Something I would like to point out. Why are we losing this? Unit composition is really key here. My army is primarily composed of light infantry. You have a good amount of heavy infantry too. But they have a lot more archers and a lot more heavy cavalry. So, yeah, this, this probably was a factor in, in this loss. I haven't lost against the uprising in a while, but what I got is I pulled out my own holding troops. Then we're going to bunch it all together and absolutely destroy the enemy. Also, this was another vassal we could call in. Actually, I believe they are from a rebellion. That's okay. We'll bunch our troops together here. We're no longer paranoid, that's great. I don't enjoy paranoid as a trade. Not good. Let's go to war. And let's have our son lead. He is. And you guys wait for the army to pass through to link up. There we go. Now this should be a pretty... Pretty... A pretty clear-cut victory. We've increased the amount of uh, cavalry we hold. We have a good amount of heavy infantry, light infantry. So this is a clear-cut victory. I wonder where the heretics got all the heavy cavalry from. That is really surprising. Right, their leader is super, super good. Look at how they're holding out. Even against such overwhelming force. He even broke my center. Amazing. Right, usually defeating the army is enough. But not in this case because they sieged... Oh, well, actually it is. So there we go. Now let's take care of those. Well, first we're going to send down our own troops. Because we don't want to have them fight. We don't have the money. And we can defeat the... Albans. With what we got. Outside of our own troops. Lots of war going on to Tome. Let's see what we can build. Definitely going for Castle Town. We need all the income we can get. Oh, they're facing a rebellion, which isn't great for us. Because if they lose to the rebellion, and we have to fight, ugh, and we have to fight another rebellion force, which isn't ours. So we might have to call in our own holding troops again. Oh, great. Since we are a lunatic, we can have a hole in the wall act. And everyone kind of hates us for it. Can we continue building this now? Oh, yes, we can, and so we shall. Because we're a lunatic. We need a marshal. Not great, but he's not terrible. Let's have him be it. Train us some troops, marshal. Yeah, I'm going to need to bring in my holding troops. Definitely. It's costly, but... There's only so much we can... Hope to accomplish without them. Since we really need to take care of this... Revolt he's facing. Lest he loses. Sometimes your enemy is your friend. 
Can't be helped. And we do not want a repeat of what just happened down here. Actually, we don't need all of them. And stands down some again. We don't have to pay the full price. Just the, those two should be sufficient. Let's go siege as they approach. And then we'll cross into the hills over a river. Because what else could be... Well, no. We can go from Fotla, which we're going to do. Oh no, he's beating him. Oh god, no. Alright, okay, we, we don't have time. We need to We need to act now. Because he's beating him. Oh, no, 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 no. Quickly! I wonder who we're going to end up fighting here. Alright, this is a terrible position to be in. Battle-wise, we have all the odds stacked against us. But luckily, this revolt doesn't have as brilliant of a leader. So we should be winning this for him. Not exactly how I imagined fighting this war. Let's re-siege first. And then go back on taking his land. Actually, we're going to split our army. And have two sieges going. Our troops need to earn their keep. If they're already in this. Might as well make the most out of it. Every commander gets to do something. No commander sits idly. And we can speed this up a bit. Because he's no danger to us anymore. Okay, let him come here. And let's beat him here. If he wishes to give us favorable terrain, fine by me. Who do you want to marry? My courtier. I don't care. Have her. Let's siege some more. Okay, there's an enemy ruler preparing to invade. Which is going to be not very fun. Because he's building armies up. And he has... About a year more. So it might be a pretty huge army we're going to face from him. So we need to get this war over and done with. So the Picts are in battle with one of our vassals. And they're losing... We're going to have even more territory after all of this is said and done. But this invasion... ...is a bit problematic. We could try and kill him. It's very unlikely to succeed in time. Why are you trying to kill? I want to claim on the fiefdom of Tyr. I, I don't care. Not enough. Alright, so. Have some peace here. Now we need to. Get our retinues back home. And we need to divvy this up. All of this needs to be divvied up, given away. First of all, we will create lower vassals. For holdings that are outside of a scope. There we go. Let's unpause real quick so some of this 
gets its itself back in focus, and all of these are... Clan holdings, tribal holdings. Which needs to be upgraded before it can be converted. So we don't want none of that. Let's see. Is this a duchy as well? No. Well, definitely not the duchy title we have. Do so you have this strong vassal who needs a position at our court? Can't be this. Let's kick our kid. Um, let's remove him from council. Bye, boy. I'm sorry, but I need this spot for this guy. The Duke of Lancaster. Right. Okay, so we want him to be our friend. But we can't because he's fighting a war. So let's get who we can in this. First we make some non-aggression pacts where we can. Always do those. Those are more important than anything else. Invite him. Can't invite him. Waiting for a decision. Invite him. Invite our advisor as well. Where is he? <laughs> Good. Who can we give this to? Actually, let's give it to some of our kids here. Guess why not? You have the county of. What are these? Affel something. I have this county. And... This county. And this county too. Very good, he accepts. So let's invite him carousing as well. People start accepting, very good. Prince Erdan. Who is Prince Erdan? These guys. This one, which we have a non-aggression pack with, doesn't want to join us carousing. Right. Okay, what does what does that mean? What does this thirty-five twenty-eight mean? Is that the yearly cost? Might be. Oh come on! It's a trap. Okay, we 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 got out of it. We got out of it. We got out of it. A plot against us failed. Let's support the church a bit, and let's check out those intrigues. Who wants to kill us? No one right now. Ah, my husband isn't himself anyway. <laughs> well, death awaits us all, man. He has cancer. So we just need to outlive him. I mean, I have the great pox. I'm not one to talk. A lunatic. Wow, he's... I was just about to say, he's terrible, because look at all those skills. And there we go, switching over to another kid. He's not bad. Really good stewardship. Decent. Are you betrothed? No? Let's betroth you. Let's see. What vassal do we need on our side? Time to consult the realm tree. This guy. Okay, we don't have a non-aggression pack with him, so let's 
have a patrol ball. Why can't we patrol with her? Why does he not? Does she not come up? My granddaughter. Uh. What? All right then. No Irish. Well, there's an Irish from my own dynasty. Uh, we're not going to get anything good out of this, so let's have it matrilineally, which no one wants to do either. Poor kid. No one wants her. Let's start our feast. And we have made friends with our court chaplain, which primarily means taxes. You can see we need more friends because now feudal vassals do pay us a tax, which hinges on them liking us. As you can see, his army is growing and growing and growing. And we will not be able to kill him beforehand. See if we can't ransom anyone here. Make a little bit of gold. Let's let's be crowned by a bishop. I think we should take care of that still. And we could seek treatment for our illness as well. And he shall perform an er experimental treatment. Well, he's not all that great. Well, he's a renowned physician, so maybe this works. But let's see what he does. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen plus three out of these. So, well done, Muhammad. Well done, indeed. Let's find your wife. That's definitely a reward. We want someone with high learnings for her. But it's going to be matrilineal, man. Needs to be an Irish family. Ah. You can have your own child. Okay, he just wants some money. Let's give him some money. And have a dignified ceremony. So we don't go completely bust. And the coronation draws near. You're welcome, Melan. Uh, who are you? What are you good at? Oh, he's a very good at martial. And he's strong. Oh. Well, we could have him as our lovers, giving us a chance on a on a strong air. And since our husband might be dead soon anyway, I will lose some piety because, of course, the husband saw us. That's okay. Right. Wow, okay. Another man wants to join us at our court. After hearing news of my upcoming coronation, he claims that he has heard many tales of what wise and virtuous rule I am. Ah, he's also really good. Let's have them all on our court. And let's give them some... Let's give them some wives, also. I am finally and truly a queen.
some more peasant troubles. All right. A blessed test passed. Another blessed test passed. No, it's the same. And thus dies our husband. Time to have another. And I believe we're going to take our lover as our husband, honestly. Because why not? Let's see. Oh, we have two lovers? He's not great. Let's have him become a monk. Or let's just break up with him. And arrange a marriage between us. Oh, we can't. Oh yeah, we can. We're just going to lose a lot of prestige from it, but it's fine. We're marrying for love. Damn it. And it's definitely everyone's... Now let's recoup some of that prestige, maybe. There we go. A new husband who is a nobody. Quite literally. But well, that's okay. Young and strong. Oh no. A grandson of mine died in infancy. Shame. Let's see who we can sell our patrol for. Some alliances, maybe. Irish, huh? Alright. Let's have some more ties with them. Oh, grand. Another rebellion. Which spawned into a non-rebellion. Or an enemy. Let's see. Maybe our vassals or some other rebellion takes care of them. Might happen. Sometimes it does. Yeah. Let's have the rebels duke it out between them. We might not even have to raise our own armies. There's a lot of rebellion going on. Well, okay, I'm I'm fine with this. Quite fine with this. I definitely won this. Yeah, yeah. Wow, seven thousand troops. Okay, this is not going to go well over for us. We can only well we can field about the same. Um, let's have a look at mercenaries. We can't afford any company. It's not great. We need to improve some opinions here. Maybe we can change the law to have more troops be sent. Title revocation. The nobles should send more troops. But people are really against it. I don't want to send more troops. The Burkhair should send more money, but also people are not really for it. Oh man. See, can we get some of these? No, everyone is against it. Ay, 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 ay. Still need legalism. Let's see. That's a low opinion of us. Hem. Why Tim carousing? Let's get to the low opinion vassals first, who have some armies and are not a rebellion. Let's see who we can get here. Can't invite her. Doesn't really matter all that much. Who comes and possibly becomes our friend in this. We just want people to be as friendly as possible. People are accepting our non-aggression pacts.
And there's some peasant feasting going on, so let's support that tradition. People are declining, 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 joining. Are oh, these summer coming? Right, so next up, honestly, is the invasion that we're facing. That's going to be interesting. 